Ken, we've been talking about supplementation of L-carnitine, but are there foods that are high or rich in, in L-carnitine that are part of the normal diet that most people eat? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can get carnitine from our diet, and, uh, and our body will take two basic building blocks, lysine and methionine, and manufacture a, a small amount of carnitine intrinsically in our system. Uh, here we have a, a graph of where you would see the most amount of uh, carnitine, and mostly it's in the lamb and beef, pork and poultry will deliver a certain amount of carnitine. Typically, the amount of, of carnitine that you would want to take as a nutritional support, you couldn't eat enough lamb chops. I mean, you would be really done with lamb in a very short period of time if you had to get the amount of carnitine that is considered to be optimal. Uh, some of the vegetables uh, have very small amounts of it. Maybe asparagus and rice may offer a tiny bit, but here again, very, very small amounts. <clears throat> Products such as carrots, which are you know, known to be good for you for certain nutrients, you know, have no carnitine in it. So essentially, the best place to, if, to, to seriously supplement carnitine is from a, an established form that's available in health food stores. So in other words, that would give you the assurance there is, as you're saying, that it, it is in some foods, it is in some meats. Sure. Uh, people that are on a vegetarian diet obviously wouldn't be getting those sources. Exactly. But the only way to really know you're, that you're getting uh, a consistent amount uh, would be to look at supplementation. Absolutely, because you really have no, you have no clue as to, you know, depending on how the, 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 the the food is prepared depending on the strain, the cut of the meat. It could be very little, it could be significant, but, but you have no way of controlling it. And then, of course, the, one, the, the, the forms of carnitine uh, that are available from a dietary standpoint that offer the most carnitine availability are also can be fairly high in fat depending on the cut. So you may be offsetting your benefits by taking an additional fat uh, unnecessarily. But I mean, you get carnitine from lamb and beef and pork, no problem, it's there. Uh, if you want to get the amount that's typically shown to be of significant support, you need an established dietary supplement to do so. Thank you, Ken.